Hey everyone, a complete wipeout for Theresa May this week and a set of local election results somehow worse than the quality of the services being provided for by those councils in question. I think it was best summed up by two Conservative spokespeople, one of whom had said that the night had, quote, gone downhill, and the other of whom described it as having been a, quote, uphill battle. That word plays the sort of disconnect you'd expect, though, the Prime Minister believing that the public are annoyed at her repeated failure to get a Brexit deal where we get to stay part of the EU. The party could have lost yet another thousand councillors, but the numbers are really irrelevant now. It's like trip losses during the First World War. And explaining the true situation at this stage is like trying to explain how ironing boards get wrinkles in them. Although the European elections next month will, of course, offer a fresh perspective on things. It's like that old Roger Kipling poem about, how's it go? If you can hold your head whilst others around you are losing theirs, then perhaps you've not fully grasped how serious the situation is. To me, the main observation was that the Prime Minister was heckled by a member of the public shouting, why don't you resign? And while the protester was removed and Mrs May's supporters, whoever they are these days, shouted, out, 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 the Prime Minister actually thought they were shouting at the heckler. The Prime Minister's sole existence and purpose for office now is to force the UK into some kind of deal, however dilated, that enables it to continue paying money to Brussels in order to avert the supposed economic disaster promised if the UK were to leave. A promise as trustworthy, by the way, as the before and after photographs in a slimming commercial. At this stage in the process, I don't think the Prime Minister is even being duplicitous. I think she looks at the ludicrous projections of 20 million people being unemployed and, like a naive teenager at one of Jeremy Corbyn's left-wing rallies, actually believes everything she's told. I think that she believes that scare stories because the alternative would simply be to admit that she'd surrounded herself with fools and wasted both her career, reputation and the best part of five years of her life. Five years and counting, by the way. Alas, I'm looking at the calendar and it may well be the start of May, but it won't be the end of May for quite some time, if you see what I did there with another bit of wordplay. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.